Squeaks and I tried a new experiment today. Okay, Squeaks is really excited to show you. So check out what happened. How cool is that? We tried this experiment because we heard that there's a special kind of soap that looks like it's growing when you heat it up in the microwave. It was so fun the first time that we're going to try it again. And that's a big part of doing science. It's important to try experiments more than once to see if the same thing happens every time. The soap we're going to use is called Ivory Brand Soap. And we're using it because it's made a little differently than some other soaps. Well, when this type of soap is made, it's whipped and moved around really quickly, trapping air bubbles inside the soap. If you've ever baked a cake and used an egg beater to make the eggs all fluffy, it's kind of like that. If you break open a bar of this type of soap with your hands, you can actually see small pockets of air all throughout the soap, and that's where the bubbles were. But those pockets have more than just air. They also hold tiny bits of water vapor. That's water in the form of gas, and it's part of the air all around us. You can even feel it sometimes when it's raining or very hot outside, and the air feels kind of heavy. And now, some of that air has been trapped inside this bar of soap. Okay, let's see what happens to those gases when we heat them up. For this experiment, the first thing you should do is get permission and help from a grown-up because the soap will get very hot. Then you'll need a bar of ivory brand soap, a knife, a plate, and a microwave to put the soap into. First, have your grown-up assistant help you cut the bar of soap into four small chunks. Make sure the soap is on the plate with a bit of space between each of the chunks. Then put the plate into the microwave for one minute. You and your grown-up assistant should keep a close eye on the microwave to make sure the soap doesn't grow too much. Ready, Squeaks? Wow, it looks like the soap is really growing. Oh, check out all the fantastic shapes it turns into as it changes. Wow, what a change. Let's wait a few minutes for our soap explosion to cool down. Wow, what do you think made this soap act so strangely when we heated it up in the microwave? I think you might be right. It was the bubbles inside the soap. When the microwave heated it up, something started to change with the air and the water vapor inside those little pockets in the soap. When the air and water heated up, that gave them lots more energy. So they started moving around a lot to use up some of that energy. It's almost like when Squeaks gets really excited about something and he starts bouncing around a little. But those little pockets in the soap don't have much room in them. So as the air and water vapor move around, they're trying to escape to somewhere they'll have more room. And that means getting out of the tiny air pockets in the soap. While the gases are getting more and more energy from the heat, the soap is getting softer. Until little by little, the air and water vapor start to push out on the soap from the inside. And then the soap starts to expand and grow into this awesome soap explosion. Oh, good idea, Squeaks. It's cooled down enough now, so let's go ahead and feel it. Oh. It does still feel like soap, and I bet I'll even have more fun washing my hands now. I wonder if this would happen with soaps that don't have air pockets trapped inside. And what if we used smaller pieces of soap? If you try this experiment, we'd love to hear your results. Ask a grown-up to help you leave a comment down below, or send us an email to kids at scishow.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time here at the port.